welcome back so I'm filming on my phone today just a little video showing you what I've been working on I have actually done a fair bit of knitting on my socks I have my sock mojo back so I think it has to do with the needles that I'm actually using um, they are these ones which I have a review on my channel I now that I've almost finished well I'm halfway through the second almost halfway through the second sock I want another pair of these I want another pair of these needles they are amazing uh, these are the Addy they're called flexi flips in other parts of the world crazy trio is what they're called here in Australia um, 36 bucks for a pair in Australia um, that was from the wool stash so I finished this sock the only thing is on you'll see on this side compared with this side the stitches at the edge are a bit more tension on them than this side um, I'm trying to rectify that in this pair um, which I think I'm doing a bit better than the other ones so this and this pattern is um, the Yorkville socks by Mina Phillip who is the knitting expat um, it's a paid for pattern it was part of her new well, it was New York collection and this is the unicorn color from Knit Picks from their Felici line I didn't do too long of a um, the leg of the sock either um, and yeah I'm really loving how it's turned out I was thinking about experimenting with a different heel but I think I will still stick with the German short row heel and if you want to know how to do that that is actually in Mina's vanilla sock recipe uh, that is a fantastic pattern if you're new to knitting socks or um, it's your first time knitting socks even if you've knit quite a few pairs it's a nice pattern to have uh, that's typically what I do for like vanilla socks and also socks like this that have a pattern I still go by that but I just substitute in whatever the pattern is but yeah this is definitely a sock pattern that I'll be knitting again um, yeah really simple to follow and I found a new bind off for my socks it's a very stretchy uh, bind off I'll put a link to it down below uh, it was from very pink knits and yeah I will definitely be using that for hats socks anything where I have to bind off that has a cuff uh, I would definitely be using that bind off so I am let's see so I'm four I'm about halfway through uh, the foot so yeah I'm loving loving these needles I as you guys remember I think when, last time I was almost at the heel I think uh, I didn't put a marker on these socks I can't remember but I seem to be needing a lot faster on socks with these needles as you guys know remember typically I was using um, the magic loop method uh, I've tried knitting socks on like traditional double pointed needles and I just I don't like it but these because they do have that cable and makes knitting such a breeze so yeah, I'll probably have these finished by the end of this week. Uh, I do have in my bag here some other sock yarn. This is from Color Girl Collective AU. It is her Sienna self-striping sock yarn. So I'll probably cast this on uh, as soon as I finish these socks. I have... I can't remember how much I had left over. Did I write it on... I don't know if I wrote it on here. No, I didn't. Uh, I did weigh my little cakes, but I can't remember 
how much I used. I think it was, I had maybe 38 grams left after knitting this sock. So I typically will use around about 60 grams for socks. And it was even less, obviously, with this because I didn't do um, as long of a leg. But if you're looking for an easy pattern to memorise for some socks, definitely check out the Yorkville Socks by Mina Phillip. Yeah, they're just, it's a really easy pattern. It gives a bit of texture, but it's not overly complicated. There's not a lot going on. And I think it looks pretty good with self-striping yarn as well. So, like I said, I'll probably have this one finished by the end of this week. And... The German sh short row heel is an easy heel to remember how to do um, feet as well. I do have a copy of it on my phone because that's typically what I have with me when I'm knitting. And I just have a, a copy saved to iBooks and I can just look it up if I need a bit of help. But it's it's pretty easy to to memorise. And for the foot, I just do a knit front to back, front and back um, as my increase. I don't do make one left, make one right. I just, I don't like that way of increasing. So, and it works fine for me. And I do, I don't cast on with these needles. I cast on with the ones that I typically use for Magic Loop. And then once I have finished all of my toe increases, then I transfer them onto these and start knitting the pattern. Uh, I tried to cast on with these and I found it a little bit difficult, so that's just what I'm gonna do, cast on with a different pair of needles and then just knit with like the rest of the foot with these. And you can do the heel with these socks as well. It just makes knitting a breeze, I love them. So yeah, that's pretty much the only project that I've been working on, hence, why that's all I have to show you but I also wanted to show you a couple of bags that I picked up in the supermarket that make really cool project bags so in Australia we have a lot of like the reusable bags and often when there's a movie out they will bring out you know the reusable shopping bags like this so I picked this one up specifically for putting my knitting projects in my mum thinks I'm a twit but that's okay so we have trolls and then one of the ladies said, oh, yeah, we have Poppy on one just by herself. And I saw it today and I'm like, mm, yep, I'm going to snag that one too. So, yeah, they're just the reusable shopping bags. There's, they're, they're huge. Like, they're huge. They will easily fit a blanket project in there. Um, so I've got those as well. I mean, I still have, you know, my bags like this or the other handmade ones. But sometimes you just need a bigger project bag and they're handy and they're not too expensive either. So yeah, that's what I've been working on. Um, if you guys don't want to hear about the live stuff, feel free to click out and I will see you next time. Uh, for those of you who are interested in the live stuff, here we go. So last week and this week, I haven't been at work Um I have taken two weeks off. Um, I have been suffering really bad with depression and anxiety lately. Um, it's all due to my job. I'm not going to go into details because I can't do that. But yeah, it's, it got to breaking point and I just went to my doctor and he's like, okay, we're going to increase your medication. We're going to do this, this, this. Um, I am going to see a psychologist as well just to help me. I have no shame in admitting that or going and getting help like that um i have had episodes off and on of depression this is the first time i've had anxiety with it which is not fun um i'm still kind of trying to deal with it um some new opportunities have come up for me um and i'm gonna take advantage of those opportunities uh, I'm going to be a presenter for the makeup brand Unique. Uh, one of my friends got me onto this lady who sells it and I've tried out a few of their products and I love it. So that'll be a bit of extra income and I have a makeup background anyway, so that'll be awesome. 
Um, I'm also still doing my little crochet business and things like that. Um, but I'm looking for another opportunity as far as my like typical nine to five job. Um, which another opportunity has presented itself for that. So we'll see how that goes. Um, so yeah, a lot of changes, but they're going to be good changes. And yeah, I'm excited to see where it goes. So I'm not going off YouTube. I'm still going to be making videos and showing you guys what I've been making. Um, I don't, like I've been posting a fair bit lately, but if you want to see like what I've been making and things like that, um, kind of quicker and kind of get in the know, I suppose, of what I'm doing, uh, follow me on Instagram at Tam's Crafty Creations. That's where you will find all of my knitting, crochet, arty, crafty kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, so... I'm slowly getting getting there um, and yeah hopefully when it's April things will be a lot better and yeah I can really kind of start moving in a direction that I want to move into and my mental health will be a lot more stable and I'll be in a better place with that. Um, cause I am on obviously medication for my anxiety and depression. So those take a while to build up in your system. I know not everyone agrees with taking medication for it, but it's what works for me. As always, what works for me may not work for you, but honestly, if you are having issues with depression and anxiety, go and speak to your doctor. Like just, just go and speak to your doctor. They are not going to judge you. They're not going to make you feel bad, like they are there to help you. And if you need someone to go with you, ask a family member, ask a friend. Like, there's always somebody that will go with you. Um, yeah. So just, just get help if you need it. There is no shame in it. I know there's still a stigma around mental health and all those kind of things. You know, people say, oh, well, it's an invisible illness. You can't really see it. But it is a big issue and you know I'm more than happy to talk about it because I have no shame in saying that I have it I'm on medication for it I see a psychologist it is what it is you know if it helps you then you got to do it so anyway thank you guys so much for watching uh, if you want to follow what I'm doing as I said Instagram is probably the best place to do that obviously subscribe to this channel and hit the bell so you get the notification when I upload videos lately I've just been doing them on my iPad and my phone just because it's easier than grabbing out my other camera and having to edit and upload up edit export and then upload that can take hours whereas on here I can just do a quick little video and put it up so that's kind of where I'm at with that at the moment um I may go back to using my other my other camera at some stage, but for now it's just going to be with my iPad and my iPhone because that's just a lot easier. Anyway, I'm going to go. Thank you guys so much for watching and supporting my channel, and I will see you all next time. Bye.